and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel, we talk about handbags, accessories, small other goods, all of those fun things from the male point of view and on a budget. If that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel, comment below, watch my previous videos, and let me know what you like and what you'd like to see. It's currently the uh, beginning of March, and I'm trying to get my channel to a thousand by early April for my birthday. So if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, but it supports my channel, so I would be very appreciative. Today's video is going to be a pretty quick one, I think. Um, I'm just going to do a review of my Gucci Ophidia top handle in the size small in the beautiful navy blue uh, Gigi Supreme print with the antique to silver hardware. Um, I unboxed this a couple of weeks ago um, and I just want to review it. So I just watched a video. Okay, well, first off, um, what caused me to buy this bag is actually Minks for All. Um, if you guys don't watch Minnie from Minks for All, she'll be linked down below. I'll also try to find her videos on this bag, but um, she's amazing. And she actually has this bag in the mini size. Um, I believe this bag currently comes in the super mini, mini, the small, and then a medium size. My understanding of the sizes, um, and they all come in various colors. Uh, Minnie just did a video where the brown color, the traditional Gucci brown, isn't available in the mini anymore. Now it's only available in the super mini and the small, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I do see things on Gucci's website come and go. So it's possible they're phasing out maybe some of the colors. But the Super Mini is probably closest to a Nano Speedy. The Mini is closer to a Speedy 20. And the 25, or the, the size small, is closer to a 25. And then of course that would mean the medium would be probably as close to a 30. So just to do a little quick comparison, I am gonna compare this to a few bags. So we've grabbed a bag off of the shelf here. So as you can see, uh, the Speedy 30 is definitely a little bit taller and a little bit wider. So overall, just a little bit larger. However, if you look at the bottom and the base of the bags, they're actually pretty comparable in size as far as the bases go. So it's a very, very similar size. This is just a little bit taller, um, realistically overall, just a little bit taller and uh, a little bit more malleable. Now I'm not saying that this one wouldn't be more malle malleable someday, um, but this right now is still very stiff for being coated canvas. It's very stiff and then the bottom has a canvas patch sewn on to give it some support on the base, which I think is very nice. Of course, the Louis Vuitton does not. Maybe some of these special speedies do, but not the regular canvas speedies. Um, and then of course there's no logoed hardware on this bag like this one. Now, the bandolier, of course, of this bag, which I do have it here in my 30. The bandolier strap is in the middle. It has a leather strap for support here. And then of course the D-rings where you hook a strap on either side. This I do believe is the same for all sizes. I do believe the medium um, is set up like the speedy where the hook is in the middle. But if you watch my unboxing, one thing that I was a little bit concerned about driving me crazy is the D-rings. And I think this goes Maybe it's all sizes. Maybe it's a super mini where it's in the middle. But majority of the sizes, they're um, on the opposite side on each end of the bag. So you can carry it cross body. Not a huge fan of that. Um, as I said in my unboxing, I wish they would have made the zipper a little shorter and put a hook here. That way it would be more symmetrical. But I will say um, I don't really notice it at all when I'm carrying the bag. It doesn't drive me crazy like I thought it would. So that is very, very nice. And then I guess while we're here, the small versus the speedy 30. The Gucci bag is actually very amazing. Um, I'm not currently carrying it, but I did carry it for almost two full weeks when I first got it. Um, and as you can see, I have it stuffed, but you guys can refer back to my video and I'll throw some pictures up here of it because I don't want to unstuff it. Um, but it's a great, great bag. 
it's probably one of my favorite bags now. So that is saying a lot for me, but this is a bag that I didn't want to really switch out of, but I forced myself to because I have a lot of other bags I need to use and show some love to. But this is a great purchase. I think it's well worth the money, just under 2000 with tax and all of that fun stuff. Um, I believe it's about 1900 or just under um, before tax. So it's a great priced bag, I feel, for what you get. It's really good quality. Um, there's really nothing here that I think is subpar. This bag has, you know, a few things about it, just like every bag, doesn't matter how much you spend. Um, there's always going to be something. Some of the the way that these um, kind of handles fold around the D-ring and are sewn, um, it's not quite 100% lined up where you think it should be. Like the little pointy part you would think would line up with the glaze. And on some of them, it's just a little bit off. But again, I've seen similar things with some of my Louis Vuittons. Um, I know that a lot of these brands... The quality just isn't quite what it used to be, but overall, I do think this is probably one of the best quality bags I own. Now, as far as the crossbody strap, again, it's all in here, and I just, I don't really have time today. I'm filming this really fast um, to get into it, but I haven't used the strap. It's actually still wrapped up. As you guys know, I tend to not carry my bag shoulder or crossbody. I like the top handle, but the strap, from what I've seen in other videos, looks really, really good, super comfortable. Of course, mine is the navy blue leather, with the silver hardware, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this bag, though it's a little bit smaller than the Speedy 25, I have found that it carries the same amount just as efficiently. And part of that is probably because a organizer is not needed to help keep the structure of the bag. And like I said, that may change. If I were to use this bag a ton, maybe it'll soften up, I'm not sure. I do think that this strip of fabric here in the middle and the supportive base, um, and then just the overall design with all the leather is gonna kind of help hold the bag in shape. So I don't see that being an issue, but um, since I don't have to carry an organizer in here, this thing holds a ton, like a metric ton. So I definitely love it, and I kind of want to find the brown one in the same size because I just love these bags so much. This is a bag that will never, ever, ever leave my collection. Like I said, I want to grow my collection of these now and I definitely want to get the other one. Um, of course, this is the coated canvas. Um, they do have some of the fun spring colors and the uncoated canvas, which wouldn't be my bag because I don't love uncoated bags because I'm afraid. Um, so I just love. The only thing I would, like I said, want to see different is the way that the, the, the shoulder strap connections are. And it would be kind of nice to have feet, but totally not necessary. Um, but overall, I can't really say enough good about this bag. It just, it carries everything. It's easy to get in and out of. Now I will say my zipper was a little hard around the bends when I first got it, but with some use, it definitely loosened up. And this is also a great bag. I'm someone who hates unzipping bags all the time anyway. So I was able to pretty much just leave this bag unzipped. And again, because of the way it's just built and designed, it pretty much keeps itself shut. So I didn't have to worry about anything falling out, someone being able to get their hand in there, um, none of those concerns. So this again is a bag I kind of carry open. And then once in a while I'd shut it, depending on what we were doing. Um, but it even fell over multiple times in the car, you know, while in traffic and you have to hit the brakes a little harder, it would topple off the seat onto the floor and nothing ever fell out of it. So. To me, that's a big win. It's easy to see inside of because it's a bright, um, untreated, just beige canvas on the interior. So you can see everything. And I just think this colorway is absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to see. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and you can't go wrong with it. Um, we were talking in our group chat with a bunch of us here on YouTube. And I think it was Devin Christopher said that he really likes the green and red. Um, and I am partial to the blue and red, obviously. But um, I do want to add a green and red traditional Gucci piece. Um, as you guys, I think I've said before in a couple of my other Gucci videos, this is a vintage color, but it's not the original Gucci color. Um, so I definitely want to add something at some point, which is why I do think another one of these would be a great addition because I would carry the heck out of it. This is a bag that I'm going to get my cost per wear no matter what. As far as, like I said, negatives with using the bag, again, I've pointed out a few things that I would possibly change about the bag. 
there's really nothing negative. It holds everything I need. It's structured. The handle drop is more than enough. I was a little worried about it, but if it's on my arms, so I can carry it on the crook of my arm pretty well. I can top handle it and it's comfortable to top handle. It's not uncomfortable. You know, like I said, I, I can just leave it unzipped and go. If I did want to wear it as a shoulder bag, I have that option because I do have that strap. Um, I just really can't say enough about it. So if you are on the fence about this bag or wanting to consider buying this bag, do it because you will not regret it. Um, I'm actually currently using one of my Chanel Grand Shopping totes and I'm thinking maybe I need to swap back into this bag um, in order to just love it more. So um, yeah, perfect bag. Um, like I said, I want to add more colors and I also want to see the size medium, which is comparable to a 30 because I've definitely been a fan of the 25. The 25s are my favorite size, but I've used this bad boy a little bit more recently and I'm honestly really liking the 30 size as well. So maybe I can get the brown one in the 30 size or the medium size from Gucci. But what do you guys think um, for roughly 2000, you know, price wise? I think these are pretty comparable now. I think the Gucci may be a little bit more expensive, but overall pretty similar. What do you guys think about these? If I had to choose one, I'll be honest, I'd probably choose the Gucci right now because I just, I love the way it's structured. It's a little smaller, which concerned me, but it's not a problem with the way the bag functions. I can carry the same items in both of these bags and I don't feel cramped in either. So definitely worth the money in my opinion, but what do you guys think? Um, that is all for today's video. I hope it's not too boring. Like I said, trying to get through this quickly um, so I can get something up for you guys for Saturday. Um, but let me know. I do have a couple of contemporary bag videos coming up. Um, I have one unboxing and then I have another unboxing collaboration coming up with um, a couple of friends here on YouTube. Um, I just actually wrote out a list of all the videos I want to do for you and I have a ton of bag reviews and things that I need to go over with items that I already own because I'm not doing a shopping ban. I'm not doing a no buy, low buy. I am doing a use what I have and if something comes up and speaks to me, then I will purchase it. Um, so I'm trying to use the bags I have for videos though because I know a lot of these I've unboxed and really never talked about again. So oh, like that one right there. So I will definitely be doing that. There's gonna be some more videos, including this bad boy because I just love it so much. Um, and then the unboxing that I'm doing is actually kind of a deja vu moment. So when you see that, you'll know what I'm talking about. But that is all for right now. I really appreciate you watching. Um, like I said earlier, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it to a thousand here in a couple of weeks. We're about 250 away. So I think it's possible, but I'm gonna need your help. So please smash that button for me and go ahead and continue to watch my videos if you're new. There's over a hundred videos that I've done over the past three years. So you can definitely watch and kind of learn more about me and my collection and how it's changed over those three years. And we will see you next time. Bye guys.